Hello, guys. Ilya, uh, right here. Just tell us uh, what the lead up to this fight week has been like. Were you worried at all that maybe you wouldn't be fighting on Saturday? And what's the relief been like knowing that you're going to get to pay off your hard work with the fight? No, I was a little bit uh, sad because most are pull out from the fight. But I, I know that they will find someone to fight on Saturday night. So that's why I'm here. Yeah, what do you make of Charles? Obviously, he just fought not that long ago and had a pretty solid win. Um, what does he bring to the table that's you know, different from Mobster? I feel like it's a, quite the change in styles, right? So a lot of people say that it's a sure not this fight for him, but it's sure not this fight for me too because my, my training camp was focused for a wrestler and now I have to fight a, a striker. But the rest is going to be the same. You know, I'm going to finish him in the first round. I didn't have... Uh, nothing personal with him, but the Saturday night, I just have to do my job. Yeah. Does a fight like this, the change, force you to reevaluate your career goals at all? I feel like, you know, the win over Mobstar, he's undefeated, kind of had some more momentum behind him. Do you feel like a win here over Charles does the same things for you, or do you think it slows your climb a little bit? Mobstar is not undefeated anymore. He lost his undefeated record because he didn't come here. He told me that he would use me like the Red Rock, here, I bring this red rock here where he is. No one knows, so fuck him. So no interest in rebooking that fight in the future? So I want to fight someone who from top 10. That's, that's my next goal after this fight. But right now I'm, I'm focused on, on my next fight. And we'll see what's going to be in the future. Really, uh, Charles only has one stoppage loss leading into this fight. Are you expecting another quick performance like, like like you just said or are you prepared for another hard fight against Charles I never put uh, a pressure to myself to to finish um, someone quickly you know to finish comes alone slow is the fastest way to get what you want in this life and it's exactly the same what happens in in fight you know so I will I will go out uh, go out there where he calm and to finish will come alone he don't gonna resist my power punches my wrestling my jiu-jitsu is not on my level, and I'm going to show it on Saturday night. When we spoke with Charles earlier today, he said it can be a little dangerous for young, undefeated fighters in the UFC because you haven't tasted defeat. And in his words, when he lost, he grew as a fighter and became better. So what's your response to that? So uh, some people think that just, uh, how to say, that only defeat, it's, it's bad to someone, but sometimes if you all the time win, it, 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 it can be bad too, you know, because you, you get in your comfort zone. So I, 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 I didn't think about, about win or lose, it doesn't matter. I'm just happy for the whole process, for the hard work I put for in, in this training camp. And it doesn't matter what's gonna happen on Saturday night, I will be happy with myself. I didn't care if I'm I will be undefeated or not. Leading into your UFC career, you had a lot of submission victories, and then lately you've been knocking your opponents out. Do you think your past opponents maybe overlooked your striking in your hands, but now, moving forward, maybe they're starting to forget that you are also a very high-level grappler after your previous few of fights? Of course, man. My background is wrestling and jiu-jitsu. I get my black belt with 21 one years old, so... I'm dangerous everywhere. I can put him to sleep in, in, in stand up. I can put him to sleep in the ground everywhere. So he have to he have to be ready, you know, because I can put him to sleep everywhere. Hey Ilya. Living the drip, mate. Um what inspired you to wear red? What you say, can you repeat it? Yeah, I was just saying I'm loving loving your suit. What inspired you to wear the colour red? Ah, because he told me that he will use me like the red rug. I call it with, <laughs> with this red suit, but where he is. Love it. Um, you said that everybody in the UFC is tough, but there's levels between you and Charles. I'm wondering if you can explain the distinction technically between the two of you.
¿Cómo? Oh, he's, he's a very skilled in, 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 in striking. But you know, all these fighters in my division, to all, to all UFC rosters, you know, they, they, I think that they just train when they have like training camps. My whole life is like training camp. And that's what makes the difference between me and with the other fighters.